offer and 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 what you mentioned um, is something really really pertinent so so let's dive deeper uh, in, into the topic of uh, like wh where do you see the industry is today so we know the hackers and attackers um, has become very sophisticated so where where is the industry today that's uh, say part one and uh, part two let's also look into what is the state of industry in terms of the types of testing available, etc. So both the maturity and also what's in the kit uh, of the defenders. Got it. Got it. Yeah, and, and basically, um, I'll kind of uh, weave in where organizations are today uh, with you know basically. And, uh, red teaming can give you the uh, depth, but a narrow one narrow focus depth but that's more point in time but cart is making it more automated yes. right so um Absolutely. so that's how if we kind of create a two by two metrics i mean then you can place all these various things uh into that so that's very interesting uh brad so so let's uh, get into the next part which is um around like if an organization has to or wants to build a capability around continuous security validation uh, uh, what, what, how should they build a program? What should be the kind of high-level program structure? What are the critical capabilities? What I call the human element. So they'll get in through phishing or social engineering. You know, they'll, they'll convene, you know, knock on the door and, and you know, try to figure out a way to get into your, your organization. And it's really just a, it's typically an outside-in view. You know, it's like if I was an attacker, how would I break into this house? How would they, how would I break into your infrastructure? It helps identify those weak points so you can address it. And sometimes it ends up being um, areas where you know, it might be on uh, email security because of phishing or social engineering. It might be just uh, security awareness training and leveling up your people in terms of being aware of these types of scenarios. And then it might be um, 